Hey guys, Mike from Magnanimous, and today we're taking a look at another set of lights that we offer. Today we're taking a look at the light matte spectrums. We have a full line of these here, and behind me you'll see the light matte spectrum 2 and the 2L, and in front of me I have the light matte spectrum 1. This is a slightly smaller version of the ones behind me, giving you the utmost versatility to find whichever shape is going to work best for your needs. And the light matte series is remarkably lightweight. It's really their main selling point. You'll notice it is a incredibly thin light and almost all of the electronics have been moved to our ballast system so that the fixture itself is as small, thin, and lightweight as possible. It's very easy to work with. You can hang it behind doors, mount it in any number of places that you couldn't typically put LED lighting. And the Spectrum series offers an even greater level of versatility over the other light mats, as they offer full spectrum lighting, offering white light as well as 360 degree rainbow as well for all of your RGB needs. So you can throw color and do a lot of creative things with them. So let's go over first getting the light set up on your stand and built and ready, and we'll do a quick walkthrough of the menus and how to work with the light. To start, we need a baby stand. I have one of our rolling stands here, and inside the case will be this mounting bracket here. On the back of your light, you'll see a twist lock mechanism, and we're just going to line up the center pin here with the center here and twist, and it, you'll hear it lock into place. So I'm going to line this up, and there it's clicked and locked into place. Now this is where my baby receiver sits, so I'm just going to drop that onto my stand and give it a twist to secure it. And that's all I need to get the main fixture lined up. My head cable's here with a little Velcro so I can move it and have it run whatever's most convenient for me. And then we have our main ballast unit here. I like to hang that from my stand to keep it close, and we'll need to run some cables. You do have a two-part ballast because the head has so few electronics in it, they had to split things up across these. So we have the actual AC adapter unit here, which will send power to your control ballast here, which will then communicate with the light. Both can be mounted together or ran separately. I kind of prefer to keep them separate. They have a similar quick release mount on the back, but I find it gets very heavy at the ballast side, so anytime I can get these separated, if possible, I just find it easier to use. So, let's plug our AC adapter side into the wall. I've got a outlet right here on an extension cable, and I can run my AC power in. And I'm just gonna set this on the ground next to my stand, and You'll notice at the top of our ballast, we have a locking four pin release for this. So I'm just gonna line up our ends and twist it to secure. And then I just need to run my head cable. I got a 25 foot head cable here, so we can keep our ballast far from the light if we need. And actually, I think I'll move these up to the table. I think you guys will be able to get a better view up there of what we're doing on our menu. There we are. And let's go ahead and run our cable. Connect there. And this feeds into a special XLR style lock there. And you'll notice our ballast is powered on and we have output on our light. Now, if you look at your switches here, you'll notice underneath our ballast we have two different turn knobs as well as a gray flip switch. The middle is going to be off, which turns the output on our light off. And you have up and down. By default, up is going to be for white light. We can tent the light slightly, but for the most part, that's going to be there for all of your white tungsten and daylight light. So here I'm at a tungsten, and I can quickly switch that to a daylight. If we take that gray switch and we flip it down, this is going to put us into our spectrum mode, where we can actually adjust our hues. So 
I can control the base color temperature that our light's pulling the color from, the intensity, and if I hit here, I can then adjust the accent, that 360 degree uh, color, and the saturation. And so if we look at our wall, I'm just going to adjust my accent degree here, and just like that, all of our colors are changing. And we can land, we'll call it, I like that cyan right there, but we'll kind of desaturate it a little bit so it's not quite as heavy. And we have a really nice soft glow there. But of course, a naked light like this is a little too hard of a source. We're gonna have really hard edges on our shadows, so we're gonna want to soften this out a little bit. Well, the spectrums come with a very handy sort of thin barn door that will feed around the outside. We can unfurl it there, and it's just gonna Velcro right into the front. I'm gonna start on the top so I keep everything nice and flush, and I'm gonna come around the sides, connect those down, and make sure everything connects. And you'll see while it does widen out the profile a little bit, it's only, I mean, it's still less than six inches, so it's still gonna fit many, many places that no other light will. And then I have a silk screen here that I can unfold. And same as before, I'm just gonna start in my top corners. I'm gonna feed that in, and then I'm gonna come down my sides and secure it. And there we have a very nice, thin, lightweight, portable softbox that's gonna give me a much softer wrap to my light. It's gonna be much more pleasing to the eye, and I'm not gonna have nearly the hard, harsh shadows that I would have had without it, giving you a lot, lot of versatility. Uh, if you haven't used these lights before, I encourage you. They are great travel solutions if you want something super lightweight that you know you'll be able to take places. Uh, they're very, very popular for interviews, especially if you're doing on-location interviews, either at people's homes or in conference rooms, places where size matters, where you're not going to have the room for giant stands and really large lighting fixtures. The light mats truly do shine for that. So if you guys are interested in checking any of these lights out or renting them for yourselves, give us a call or visit magrents.com.